Hello again, SG Beers, Companion Wolf, aka Rob Wolf on Facebook here. Welcome to another Smile Game Builder tutorial. Now at this point there's more than enough material to create a game. I've already announced the hybrid game I'd like to create, based around the tutorials, officially entitled Tutoria. Basically it's a new game using many of the techniques I've used in my tutorials, and there's even the rudimentary plot to work with now. So I'll start on that once my current project commitments are finished. I've also been thinking about live streaming a lot lately. So if this is something you'd be interested in, let me know in the comments and we'll go from there. In the meantime, cue the intro. I'd originally planned this tutorial around having a HUD displaying the amount of gold you have permanently on the map. However, I did encounter an unforeseen issue with it. While this in itself is entirely doable, it still requires a lot of conditional branches for the numbers because you have to do each one individually, units, tens and hundreds, and it ended up being completely impractical. So I figured that since I'd set my mind on HUDs, I'd do something related but a little different at the same time. I was alerted to a question on SGB stream forum where someone asked if it's possible to display text like open or use when the player is close to an event, like a door or a switch, without any interruption to the game. There were a few responses, but no one had a workable solution it seems. I didn't think it could be done either, actually. However, I started thinking more laterally and came up with a solution. Actually, it came to me while I was composing some music on my keyboard. And without further ado, let's see how it can be done. Firstly, let's make a note of event coordinates. We'll use the door which is 1510 and then we'll use Marie who's at 1910. You can also click on the event and in the bottom right, in the bottom status bar it'll tell you the coordinates. I just find it much easier to click on the placed events to view the coordinates. So now when we create our event, we'll set the trigger to auto start, synchronize and run repeatedly. Next we set up two variables via the advanced box. I'm using variables 29 and 30 for player X and Y respectively. So we set 29 to that and then we can copy and paste it and set variable 30 to the player's Y coordinate. We'll put everything on a single sheet because it doesn't seem to work effectively otherwise. So starting with the door event, since its X coordinate is 15, we create a variable box check. with variable 29 for our player x set to 15 and underneath that in the yes we add another one we could just copy and paste it we add another one where variable 30 for player y is equal to the door's y coordinate plus 1 which would make it 11 and then this will put us directly in front of the door. This is because x starts at the top left corner and goes across the screen to the right and y starts from the top and goes down. Uh, 
Um, under the yes for the second branch we can then display our image for in this case it would be open um, I've pre-created and imported it into SGB then next we would set our X coordinate to 449 and then 190 for the Y and then under the second no which would be this one here we would add a de delete the image for Marie you can do the same thing just basically copy it and then we will place it under the branch of the first no and then paste it <coughs> her x coordinates would be 19 and her y coordinates plus 1 again would be 11 and then we change the image to talk the reason it's done this way is because if you have separate branches all below one another or even on different sheets some of the images will flicker rapidly and it becomes a bit distracting so now if we play test it we will see open and talk open pops up when you near the door and when you move it disappears and the same with Marie ah see a little bit of a problem let's test it in first player we have the open for the door and talk for Maria and it stays on the screen for that the solution lies in something I did in Tutorial 14, player direction for the compass HUD. We add another variable from the advanced variables I just recycle number 15 player direction and then we set that to the player direction itself. Add another variable box check where number 15 player direction is set to 0 which is north or up if you're unsure of the values this returns I'd recommend you view the tutorial 14 as it goes into a great amount of detail on this and then we simply cut our previous branch and then paste it under this yes and it should work we might also need to make a few tweaks to prevent flickering images in case it occurs and for this it'll be easier to switch modes we can basically remove all of the deleted uh, delete images I'll cut that one and then I'll delete that one and 
then um, where to put it we can probably put it right at the end of the first branch so when we play test it again it won't appear until you're directly facing the event and then in first person mode you move away like so the text will disappear you can add as many routines as you like using the same format just remember that the coordinates for each event needs to go under the first no of each corresponding XY check. You can then use enter for caves, use for switches and so on as well. Just create an image with the text you want to and then import it and add assets, game images and images. And when you add your image you can also add another event on another map with another thing that you want with the same routines relevant to your events. I believe we've almost run out of time, not quite, but if you found this tutorial useful Feel free to give it a like, subscribe for more videos and visit me on Twitter, Facebook and the blogs, all of the links are below. And for those who are not aware, I've created a separate sub-site dedicated to Smile Game Builder called the Smile Game Builder Athenium, where it'll contain all of the tutorials that I've done and eventually some of the resources that I do create. Again the link to that will be below in the description. And so that's it for another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Until the next time.